Hey everyone, welcome back to Walt and Sarah's channel. Today, I'm going to be turning this plain green anvil extra large 65% polyester t-shirt into a really awesome t-shirt dress for my daughter. Yay! All right, so first we're gonna start by bleaching this shirt using the scrunch method. So all I did was dampen this top in my kitchen sink, wrung it out really good. Um, the little triangle design in the center there was actually an accident. It wasn't put there on purpose, so don't get caught up obsessing over why there was a triangle on my shirt. Okay, anyway, so here we are. We are bleaching both sides using the scrunch method. Bundled up into a ball here. I'm trying to get it in there. Usually there's not a whole lot of bleach when I use this style of bleaching. So I did kind of stick my nozzle in there and bleach a little bit more. As you can see, it is already starting to turn. We got nice sunlight on this. So here I am just going to lay it out flat so that way it can continue to bleach and really cover most of the shirt. Um, unfortunately, my shadow is blocking most of the shirt, but now you can see where it is starting to change from the green to a gray to eventually a white color. So here it is, it looks good. Also guys, I just want to throw this out there. This video is less than 10 minutes long. If it goes too fast for you, please do not be afraid to hit the pause button or go back and rewatch something. Um, if I make it too long, people say it's boring. If I do it too fast, then I'm going too fast for some people and um, I'm damned if I do, damned if I don't. So don't be afraid to use that pause button and go back to rewatch some steps that might have gone by too fast. Okie dokie, so here we are back to the project. I am just rinsing it out with cold water. That is my hair there, so ignore that. Sorry, no hair tie. I am rinsing it out after it got its nice little bleach bath, sunbathe there. And now it's a little bit later on in the day. Uh, we ran out for a little bit. Now we came back and was like, oh no, I gotta finish my shirt. So <laughs> the sun's starting to set. But luckily, I don't need a whole lot of sunlight for what's left. I already rinsed it out with water one time. This is still damp. I'm um, just, just bleaching like the center part there. That way when I put my image, that is where it's going to go. And you're gonna see that little area that I bleach actually spreads out because the shirt is wet. So here it is getting its final bath outside. I'm just rinsing out the bleach as best as I can. Um, guys, this is a good time for you to, uh, you don't even have to pause the video, just go ahead and hit that subscribe button and give us a quick thumbs up because it is nice and we appreciate it. And we could really use the support, of course, right? All I am, again, is just rinsing this out with the hose, cold water, we don't use warm because it makes the bleach spread out. And then I'm going to throw it in the washer, throw it in the dryer, and this is what I'm left with. Like I said, you can see how that bleach really is spread around. Okay, so now that we're inside, I am working on my floor here because I have no table space. So bear with me because I am on the floor. You're gonna see some shoes pop up. Um, so I turn the shirt inside out. All right, so that's the next step. After we get it all bleached up and wash and all, I'm gonna use one of her other dresses and I'm gonna lay it down as a guide of where I'm going to need to cut. I would highly recommend using a washable marker rather than a Sharpie because you can see a little bit of the marker through the bleached spots. But I wasn't thinking, I was in a hurry. Um, I wanted to wear this dress to school the next day, so I had to really hurry up. So I used a Sharpie and I just drew the lines, my guides. Um, also here, what I'm doing is pinning up the sleeves and the bottom of the dress, I'm gonna end up pinning that as well. Those are parts that I'm not going to be sewing. It's already perfect for me. I don't need to touch it. So I'm gonna put as many pins as I can so that way it is secure. Now the next step, I am cutting the extra fabric. You have the choice. You can either sew it and then cut off the slack there or you can cut the extra fabric off first. I like to cut the extra fabric off because it gives me more of a leniency to where if I need to line something up and then trim it down more later, I can do that versus if it's still sewn together, it makes it a little bit harder for me to manipulate the fabric. So personally, I'm gonna draw my lines and then I'm gonna cut it and it doesn't have to be perfect because the sewing machine is gonna help us sew you know, straighter lines. But this, this is just the way I'm doing it. So, you know, and with any craft, you wanna make it your own, put your own twist on things, that's fine. I'm just showing you how I made this dress. So take it as you will. 
also I'm also going to note, um, she likes the three quarter sleeve style. You can of course trim these down. I did not. I left the sleeves longer. This is an extra large shirt that's going on an eight year old. So I did leave the sleeves longer. She likes having that like three quarter sleeve. So it looks really cute. And I told you, you're going to see some feet. Okay. So like I said, down at the bottom, I am just matching up the bottom there so that way when I go to sew it the seams that are already present are kind of like my guide of where I want the stitches to go so the sleeves I am pinning the very bottom there I am pinning and then also some on the sides I'm gonna pin them too this is extremely stretchy fabric it is 65% polyester so it's super stretchy and even as I'm trying to get it into the sewing machine it's stretching and starting to curl um, so that could be one advantage to cutting after you sew is that you don't have these curls coming in But I don't know. I just found this easy. You're only doing two lines I'm gonna start at the sleeves take it all the way down to the bottom of the dress on each side as I showed in the photo on the other Little portion there. So you saw the pink lines I personally started at the sleeves because I really need them to be lined up more so than the dress part If the dress part is a little off nobody's gonna notice if the sleeves are off people are gonna notice now here I put, um, we're going to do this for 380 degrees for 50 seconds. You're going to see my heat press says 45 seconds, but the reason I'm saying go up to 50 seconds is because what I do is before my timer goes off, I turn off my heat press and I unplug it. This is so, obviously, I do not forget to do so. I mean, you know, life gets busy. I'd never want to leave it plugged on. I definitely don't want to leave it on. Um, or leave it plugged in and leave it turned on. So I always turn it off, unplug it, and then I will reveal. Plus I thought 45 seconds might not be long enough. So I decided to throw that extra like five seconds on there. And here it is guys, it's so cute. I made this design in Procreate, it is adorable. Sorry McDonald's for copyright infringement there, but this is just too cute. Come on, peace, love, shamrock shake. Oh, so there it is finished. I did have to hit it with some peroxide because as you could see, there was some yellow to it. Guys, if you have any questions or comments, leave them down below. I'll get back to you as soon as possible. She absolutely loved it. She worked to school this morning with some black leggings and it looks so cute. Let me know if you have any questions or if you know you would change anything. She's so happy, she loved it. And that's all that really matters to me. So thank you so much for watching. I hope this video helps you out a little bit. Catch y'all next time.